Hey everybody, this is my fancy goldfish tank, and up until a few days ago, I also had a black moor in this tank, and when I brought the black moor home, it did not look good, I knew it wasn't looking good when I brought it home, I was actually bringing it home in hopes that I could nurse it back to health, but unfortunately I was not able to. So I went back to the store today and I took the remains of the black moor back. I got my store credit for it, although I forgot to cash in the receipt when I went up to the register. So I didn't actually get my uh, store credit for it, but I do still have the receipt. Uh, so when I go back to the store to get some snails in a few days, I will get my money back for the dead fish. And in the meantime, I have replaced it with a new live fish. And so I got a beautiful little calico fantail, and its tail almost looks extra fancy. It looks like a long fin or something, so I'm really interested to see how this one's going to look when it grows out. So let's give it a few minutes uh, to get some, a little bit of acclimation going on there. Let's the other fish get used to seeing it in the water, and then we're going to go ahead and put it in the tank. And we're going to talk a little bit about why I'm not going to bother to quarantine it because I'm sure some of you are already being alarmed by that. But give it a few minutes and I will be right back. All right, and the bag is now well mixed with some of the tank water. It's only been a few minutes. There's not a whole lot of reason to really acclimate the fish as it were. I've shot videos about that in the past. I'm also not worried about bringing in some of the water from the fish store. And so the reason I'm not too worried about any of this water from the fish store or quarantining the tanks, uh, I know a lot of people are really particular about that kind of stuff. Uh, I do on occasion quarantine, but in this case, I'm not going to worry about it because the only thing I'm really concerned about that fish having that would be contagious would be ick. And ick is simply not an issue it's just it's a nuisance it's not a big deal this tank has four fish in it it's fairly small uh, i have several products that treat for ick uh, some of them are very inexpensive and so if anything does happen where i notice that i'm starting to develop some white spots or uh, i have introduced ick into the tank with this new fish then I'll simply treat the tank for ick for a couple of weeks and it'll be done. And it, you know, again, it's just, it's not a big deal. It really is not uh, a big deal at all. Otherwise, this fish has been in their tank at the store for a couple of weeks now because I've actually been looking at it. And so I also feel that this fish has somewhat been not necessarily quarantined it is in a tank that was exposed to maybe new fish coming in uh, and that sort of thing so again there may be something uh, superficial like ick being introduced but as far as the health of the fish I saw this fish a week or two ago in the store and it still looks good it's nice and fat and healthy and behaving normally its fins all look good so I have no real reason to believe this fish has any you know major issues or anything like that and again, on balance, when I think about uh, the number of fish I've bought over the years and the number of times I've actually brought something home, you know, on balance, it's just a very, very small percentage that have ever been problematic. And the vast, vast majority of the times I have brought something home, it's just been ick. It's been no big deal, really. Ick is nothing more than a nuisance. And it doesn't cost a whole lot. It's not a lot of difficulty to, to treat. It doesn't cost a lot to treat it. The treatment's not going to hurt the other fish in the tank. It's not going to affect my nitrogen cycle. It's just, it's really not a big deal. And so I'm not worried about the whole quarantining process. I just wanted to get that fish in the tank so he could meet his new buddies. And they're all going to swim around, hopefully, and be one big happy school of goldfish in there. So that's the stocking density we're going to stick with. Uh, some of those fish may get a little too big for this tank eventually, but we'll cross that road. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when the road gets to it. Uh, I do still want to add some snails and then maybe some other sort of small decorative fish that would be good looking with the uh, goldfish in there. Maybe a little rubber lip pleco on the bottom or something simple like that. But we're not going to be putting any more goldfish or any more larger fish in the tank. That's going to be it uh, for this one. So there you go everybody, brand new fish in the fancy goldfish tank, don't have a name for this one yet, but it's got some really, really interesting markings, colorations, and of course those fancy looking long fins on there, 
are just the most. So there you go, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Do all that YouTube stuff. And don't forget, of course, I do a live stream every Friday night and Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, I've got a Discord server that is available to my members. So if you're interested in a membership, you can check that out. Otherwise, I'm going to say thanks for watching, and I will see you real soon on the next one.